be good. Shalom, shalom. Kwam yashalom. Kwa holoyim la. Yahweh bahashim. Yahweh tzai bahashim. Rakha hakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well. That by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim. Akwap that's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Yisha Khanan I got the brother, brother Harab. Brother Harab back again. And you know, hey, this is the day that the Lord has made, man. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it. But we come out to let you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans know that you are the true Hebrew Israelites. That's your true nationality. There's no such thing as black people, man. There's different shades of brown people. You will never see a black person, man. That is, that's a negative connotation given to you by your colonizer, the so-called white man. And we say so-called white man because there's no, no such thing as white people, neither. They're pinkish to reddish in color. Just look at them. Notice them this summer. They out here looking like cherries right now, trying to get a damn tan. You know, they hate your color, but they, 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 they run out in the sun and try their hardest to try and look like you. Now they women, you know, they trying to get lips. They trying, they going out getting ass. You know, they buying tits. They trying to be as thick as the so-called black women. Back in the days, they used to shun that. You see? So wow, these, these people, and, and you, you so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man, y'all got to wake up, man. Stop trying to be like the so-called white person when they trying to be like you. That's they, right. They understand that you're superior. They, 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 these people are actually really trying to be you. And here you go, you got the nigga woman out here with a damn... Full head of blonde hair, man. That's right. I, I mean, it, it's absolutely just nasty looking, man. That is the worst color hair to me personally. I know that's like, for real, man. Straight up. You hate to see a so-called nice looking black woman with a bunch of damn blonde wig shit in her. Like, man, just be, you know, what's wrong with your color? What, what's wrong with the way the Lord made you? What if you yeah, put in damn ice? Them contacts trying to change the damn eye color to a recessive gene, you know? So, but like I said again, hey, we come out on these highways and byways to let our people know to wake up because we're in the last days. It's high time to awake out of sleep. Me and the brother always go into that every week with your Romans 13 and 11 and verse um, 12. You know what I'm saying? Saying that it's high time to awake out of sleep. Look at all the shit that's going on, man. Are you paying attention to the news? You see what I'm saying? The, the scripture says, matter of fact, I, uh, can you grab um, Ephesians 5 and 15 real quick? Yeah, man, the Lord said to be circumspect out here, man. You're supposed to be watching and seeing what's going on, man. All this stuff that's going on out here, they got, hell, they didn't even talk about damn polio now. Polio is back on the scene. They talking about the jungle pox. Ain't no telling what that's about to go to because, um, Joe Biden, he just declared it a national emergency, I think, um, the day before yesterday. He created, that's a national emergency now. Now, what they're telling, the, the, they're saying it is coming from men having sex with men. Only thing that they're telling these people is, is a hey, slow down just for a moment on your sexual partners. No, they should be telling them the scriptures, man, that the Lord is going to destroy you. That is, that's an example of destruction. That's an ass whooping to you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. If you don't take heed to that, that jungle pox, next step is he going to kill your ass. Straight up, you got that, that Ephesians 5 and 15? Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, man, there's a lot of stuff going on out here. They got the jungle pox going on. Yes. Now they're talking about a whole new variant. You see what I'm saying? And they, they want you to get in, in tune with them jump shots, man. And, and we, we're just in the month of August. You're going into September, October. No, man, it's, once it's starting to get cooler, this man is about to go ape shit, man. The brother was just telling me about, um, <laughs> and they're getting ready to dish the dollar, which we already know. You know what I'm saying? But he said um, they done some slippery shit. You know, what's that? that's what the so-called white man does anyway. I don't know if you've seen, did you see in the news where uh, they've been talking about the UN, they about to crack down on conspiracy theories? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, the, the brother's been doing lessons on that. They about to crack down. The UN put this out for con conspiracy theorists. They said they, they don't want you talking about George Soros, no elite. Um, they don't want you talking about the government. They want you to trust completely in the government and anybody that's saying anything outside of your government being transparent and being good to you, that's misinformation. And they can make, you see what they've done to Alex Jones? 
Alex Jones, the, the, the um, Info Wars guy, you know, he, he said that um, Sandy Hook was a hoax, said it wasn't real. Them families, man, they got that boy yesterday, day before yesterday, when they got it, day before yesterday, they got it for 4.1 million. He got to pay the parents. Yesterday, they gave him um, the punitive damages, $45.9 million. And then they was talking about $149 million and an extra $150 million. Man, they trying to hit that boy for like a half million. <laughs> yeah, for saying that Sandy Hook. And, and they said conspiracy theory. So they putting it all together with the UN, you know what I'm saying? And saying that if you say certain things, that's, that's when the family of that word going to come. Because now it's going to be like, okay, everybody is going to kind of, uh, you know what, let me, you know, walking on eggshells because they don't want to get that, that Alex Jones. They made an example out of his ass yesterday. Mm. And it was... I, I, I always thought he he talked that stuff, but I always thought you looked at him as one of them. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's I think, think so, too. The, the, yeah, the, um, the apostle went into that. Pastor Ramla, he was he was talking about that. I think yesterday morning during his live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I mean, when you think about it, his show is called Info Wars, right. Information Wars. Right. You know, the, it, the actual information that's out here. See, it's just that they weren't expecting people to like use these platforms, these social media platforms, to push out all the stuff because Esau is being told on. Right, right. You know, that's going off into the Book of Psalm 64. Actually, I can I can run that down. But go ahead and get the um that that Ephesians five and fifteen. Ephesians five and fifteen. See then that ye walk circles circles specifically, not not as fools but as wise. See that? See that you walk circumspectly, not as fools but as wise, man. You got to be looking around. It, it's not just talking about your physical surroundings. Though you're supposed to be looking around and checking your physical surroundings, but it's, it's going off into your spiritual surroundings, the things that the Lord told us to watch out for. He gave us a blueprint. He gave us the blueprint as to what to be watching out for in the end days, man. He said the wars, rumors of wars, they going nuts over here with this China-Taiwan thing since Nancy Pelosi went over there. In China, like hey, we, hey, they shot a lot of missiles. They was, they made, they was making, you know, kind of making their little grunts, little stomping grounds. They're like, hey, look, they were shooting missiles um over into the territory of Japan and everything. Ooh, ooh, ooh. China, because Nancy Pelosi went over there. They told her, hey, don't go, don't come over here to Taiwan. You messing with our sovereignty, and they done some other stuff. And they, you know, hey, don't the wars, rumors of wars is getting real thick right now, man. That's one of the main prophecies to watch out for as well, World War III. Hey, man, everything is in play. That's how, hey, we at the end of this thing, man. Go ahead, I'll get that next verse. 16. Redeeming, redeeming the times because the days are evil. See that? Redeeming the time because the days are evil. Man, you living in the most evilest days ever to be recorded in, 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 in that's, human that's history. Real. That's real in human history, man. You, I see, hey. I see, I see our people acting up. We, oh my goodness, up. man. Hey, hey, hey this, this summer really brought it out, man. You know, and hey, hey, you know what? It's only going to get even more wickeder because the brother's been talking about it. When you think about this generation of children, think about this generation of children. Uh, if they grow up and have some damn children, man, it's going to be, what, what kind of, what kind of, um, children you think they gonna grow up to be or what kind of children you think they gonna raise man they they the scripture talks about mystery as women bringing forth monsters man according to um, um, um the apocrypha mystery as women bringing forth monsters man and, and look at the women look at the women man straight up get that verse again huh 16 redeem the time because the days are evil. Yeah, man, you living in the last days. These days are evil. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, bro. We're in the last days, brother. You got to repent, brother. Oh, yeah, man. We are definitely in the last days. You're not going to see a more wicked generation, man. If it don't stop here, we really doomed, man. What's out? What? Like, what are these? What is this generation? The, the brother was talking about a um, little four year old cussing out the police. <laughs> if that little nigga grow up, man, come on, man. We don't 
don't have a chance as a people, man, with the, with the situation that our people are in. We went from royalty to complete shit, man. It's a lot here for the language, but hey, there's no other way to put it. We went from clouds to straight walked upon, man, ground, man. You see what I'm saying? Matter of fact, I was going to uh, grab on Psalm 64 and 8. Because see, that, that, this is what's going on out here. Like I said, I wish I could pull that up, but uh, I don't have no internet access on this phone. But it, it, the UN, man, they really want to stop. The, basically what it's going to boil down to is they're going to be able to use those particular laws that they're coming up with to stop us from coming out on the highways and byways and speaking. So that's where you get that famine of the word at. The Lord said that in the last, hey, it, it's not going to just be a famine of bread, of like physical bread. It's going to be a famine of bread too, but it's going to be a famine of the word coming out. You're not going to be able to see brothers out on the streets in a little while no more, man. You're not about to be able to see the brothers on YouTube. Man, they're cutting all into that. YouTube done got wild. Man, I done lost, I don't know. Man, I done lost like, I know at least 10 to 15 channels, man, within the past year and a half. Just from them giving strike after strike. Just, and, and, and for stuff, and for stuff, man, that, that, that's just regular basic talking points, man. But they don't want you to, they don't want you talking no more. That way we can lean it back a little bit, that way it won't make a little catch. Like you still see it like that. That's cool, that's cool. But yeah, yeah, you got that um that Psalm 64 and 8, bro? Yep. Psalm 64 and 8. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. And that's what's going on. See, the so-called white man is telling on the so-called white man. Cause because to them it's just news. It's just money to them. See, they, they're not actually realizing that they're actually helping the demise of their fall. They just looking at it like, oh, that's, you know, that's a hot story. Let's, let's put it hot off the press. We need, they sending out journalists to those cities, flying them out immediately. Oh, you heard about this? Oh, you got to go out there and we need a story on it. But what's happening is, is they're telling on their own people. You see what I'm saying? They're telling on each other, man. And, and that's the last thing the so-called white man wants. He, he's losing the info wars badly. <laughs> that might be the title of the lecture. Hey, he's losing the information war because we're the ones that's putting out the information. Starting from the apostles, the elders on down, man. The brothers are going out on the highways and byways and, and, and we're like the real newscasters. We, if you look at the videos, man, that GMS go into, You'll get no news from GMS three or four days before you actually see it on the news news. They, they, the, the spirit, BBB, pushing the brothers, man, to be on point, man, with these lessons, man. Just moving in the spirit, man. And, and when you look at it, a lot of the times, the brothers be speaking on the exact same things. You be like, yeah, I just done a video on that. I just done a lesson on that, man. See? And like I said, again, we come out here and we do these lessons to let you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans know that we are in the last days, man, that the Lord is about to be coming soon. Because this place is getting wickeder and wickeder by the day. How much more wickeder you think he's gonna allow it to get before he comes? He's showing you what, what, what's to come. He's showing you the things that's going on. You see what I'm saying? Matter of fact, I, um, let's, let's grab Second Edris, uh chapter nine. In the apocryphal. You say, uh, Second address, chapter nine. nine. Yup. Yeah. Starting from the top, chapter um, chapter nine, verse one. Second address, nine, verse one. He asked me then and said, measure the times diligently. In, in itself, and when thou seek seal, part of the signs part past, which I have told thee before. Go ahead, I go ahead, I. Two, then shalt thou a 
understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to fix the world which he made. See, he says, measure thou the time diligently. How do you measure the time? Like, we don't have a ruler. He gave you what will be going on. That's the measuring stick. The wars, rumors of war. You see what I'm saying? The pestilence, the famine that's happening. Earthquakes in diverse places. Uproars of the people. Sedition of men. Hey, what's going on now? Good, good, good. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's what we're, yeah, we're reading the Bible right now. Okay, go for it, go for it. In, in the Psalms. Yeah. No, they out there. They definitely out there. If they out there, oh, we yeah. don't know. We don't know if there's any other forms of life that God has made that what their situation is like compared to ours. I'm not into that. Okay. Uh huh. But we do know this much: He cares enough about us to want a relationship with us. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But but. And if you want a relationship, that means conversing. Yeah. I mean, he, he wants his people, you know, to, 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 to repent. You see? Yeah, he, he, he wants his people to repent. You know who his people are, right? Not the, not, not, not the entire globe, though. The Lord is only dealing with the Israelites. He's not dealing with heathen nations. He only gave the law, statutes, and command. Come back, brother. You spoke. You spoke. Come back and listen. You see? The Lord, who, who did the Lord give the, um, the, the, the who did the Lord give the covenants to? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Who did the Lord give the promises my, my, to? My brother, what does it say in John 3.16? What does John 3.16 mean? What, what, what does it say in John 3.13? What does it say in John 3.14? See, everybody knows John 3.16, but nobody knows what it's actually talking about. So you saying John so loved it, God so loved the world. What's that word world mean in the Greek? What, what does that word world mean in the Greek? Because you got to look it up in the Greek. It was written in Greek. Listen, listen, brother. I, I have a theological degree. Okay, but that's what... Okay, okay. Did the Lord have a theological degree? Wait a second, wait a second. Did, did, the, did the Lord have a theological degree? Brother, I'm not trying to argue. No, no, we're not arguing. Okay, okay. Well, I'm asking brother, you brother, questions. Brother, You're not brother, answering me. Brother, brother, there's a word that follows... Follows... For God so loved the world. You What's went to that? seminary. You went to seminary school. Okay, okay. Wait, wait. Brother, Who was the promises given to? John, John, uh, wait a second. Wait a second. From Walter, it, I'm asking you just one question. Okay, right, go ahead. After it said, "For God so loved the world," uh huh. It says what? Whosoever. Okay. That, now, that but that when you go into the scriptures, whosoever is talking to the children of Israel. The apostles never went to the Romans to tell them repent. Because they weren't for the Romans. The Lord wasn't trying to speak to Pontius Pilate, brother. The Lord never tried to save Herod. The Lord only came for the children of Israel. Get Matthew 15, 24, huh? Come on, no, you went to seminary school. Run, 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 run. The only reason why I was saying that. The apostles didn't go to a seminary. No white man told wait, the, 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 the wait, wait, See, you you learned with that. What color is the Lord? What, what's the Lord's nationality? So you believe that white people can be saved? I believe that everybody who's so Wasn't the Israelites in slavery to the Romans? The Lord wasn't coming to save no Romans, brother. Get the, go, go ahead, I'll get to Matthew 15 24. Well, how did Joseph, who did the Lord make the contract with? Why, hey, come here, come here. Why did he, why did he say 
Why did he save Pharaoh? Why did he send Moses and Aaron into Egypt and not save Pharaoh? Why did he push all those plagues on Pharaoh? Why did he kill Pharaohs and their firstborn if he loved everybody? When he brought the children, didn't he drown them in the Red Sea? Why didn't he love Pharaoh and them? Get, get, that, get that scripture out. That has to be a dialogue. We dialogue and get the scriptures up. Go ahead, I, go ahead. Get the, no, we, we, we going with the scriptures, not, not what we're not, not over here. The lost sheep of the house of Israel. The lost sheep of the house of Israel. Let the scriptures come out, bro. Aren't you a seminary person? Bring the scriptures out, bro. We don't go with the mind. We go with the scriptures. Go ahead, Op. Bring the scripture out, Op. Bring that scripture out again. You too, brother. Go ahead. <laughs> hey, matter of fact, hey, the scripture says that the wicked shall flee when no man pursue it. You're wicked, brother. <laughs> the wicked flee. You don't want to hear the scriptures come out. What did, what did he just read? What did he just read? What, what did he read? You coming up here trying to preach to us. Where your Bible at? Bring out some scriptures, brother. You ain't bringing out no scriptures. Keep it moving. Because we're going to keep teaching. Go ahead, Ock. Bring that scripture back out. We're not, we not listening to no opinion. We bring out the scriptures, bro. But on to the lost feet of the house of Israel. The Lord ain't coming for no crackers. The crackers got you in the worst conditions ever. He's, he's trying to say you going to die with you. The Lord is about to destroy America. And you too if you follow him. Bring it out again, huh? Matthew 15 and 24. For he answered and said, I am not sent for unto the house of the lost seat of the house, house of Israel. Israel. The Lord wasn't sent to no heathen nations. He come up here and talk about some John 3, 16. But when I asked him, what does John 3, 1 say? John 3, 13. John 3, 15. They don't know nothing of the other three. <laughs> none of John except for that one verse. And then you asking him, okay, what does that word world mean in the Greek? It just means age or society. The Lord was not trying to save Pontius Pilate, bro. You're not going to find a scripture. He sat down with them. This man actually was the one that was in, in position to put the Lord to death. The Lord never said to him, hey, you know what? You need to repent. Matter of fact, Pontius Pilate told the Jews, you go deal with your own laws. Pontius Pilate knew he had nothing to do with the Jewish state, man. They was in captivity to the Romans, man. You see what I'm saying? Here you go, he come up here bald head as hell, no beard, face naked, Talking about I went to cemetery school and ain't bringing out no script. See, that's the problem who, with the Christian who, church. Who runs cemetery school? Exactly. All they're going to teach you is, is the so-called white man is your Lord. And that's that, man. We're not dealing with that. The scriptures going to come out when we teach it, man. We going straight into the scriptures. Matter of fact, I get Luke chapter 1 and start at like verse 68. And we don't mean, you know, to, to, hey, we got to defend the gospel, man. And we're going to bring out the scriptures. Anybody running up here and just want to ramble? You know, you just want to talk and tell your, well, there's got to be a dialect. Well, listen to the scriptures. You're not bringing out none. He come up here and totally interrupt the lesson, talk about, um, what did, what did, he, what did he bring out, um, um, oh, oh, the scriptures. Oh, talk about, um, yeah. Mind, why, 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 why is the Lord mindful of man? Okay. I'm trying, yeah, I'm trying to get, get to the point. Right. You try to say we all the same people. No, nah, bro. That, hey, that's the problem with Christianity. That's the same crap they beat into us during slavery, man. And gave you about 20% of the Bible, which is called a slave Bible. Get the hell out of here, man, with that. Christianity said, is finished, if man. Say, if what he says is true, We'll be wiped out in this, in this, in this, like all, for real. In this end time. If the Lord is a white man, I prefer to go to hell. I, I, I say that all the time. Huh. These people that had us in slavery for 500 years, and, 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 and if these people done done us as dirty as they've been doing us for 500 years, 
what the hell are you going to praise him for? You might as well have a good time. Because he's going to dog you out when he comes. If his people don't like you like how they don't like you. It don't make no sense, man. Five hundred years we've been in this nasty, trashy ass place, paying tribute, man. Taxes, doing all kinds of dirtiness to us, man. Testing shit on us, all kinds of stuff, castrations, buck rapists. Oh man, I mean you name it, man. Jake is in the worst conditions they've ever been in because of this man, and he's talking about we should be praising him as our Lord. Get the hell out of here, man. That's over with. Christianity is finished, man. That is done. Where we at, I? Luke 1 verse 68. Blessed be the, the Lord Yahweh of Israel. Of who? Of Israel. See that? Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, man. All through the Bible, the, all, the, all the nations have been enemies to the, to, the, to the children of Israel, man. There's a complete lineup in the book of Psalms 83 of our enemies, man, and the enemies of the Lord. He don't even know that the Lord got enemies. Crazy, bro. Go ahead, I. For he has visited and redeemed his people. His people, the Israelites. Get that back again, I. <laughs> Bless be the Lord, Yahweh of Israel. Of Israel. For he has visited and redeemed his people. See that? He has visited and redeemed his people. Go ahead, huh? There's more on that. The whole, the whole chapter one of Luke give you the whole breakdown of what's going on, man, in these scriptures pretty much, man. That the Lord is only coming for the Hebrew Israelites. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are the children of Israel. The Lord is not coming back for no damn heathens. They going in a hardcore slavery. That's where they're going. Go ahead, I. And have raised up and up a horn of salvation for us in the house of servant David. In the house of his servant David, man. The same promises that he made to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That the seed of, of David is going to sit on the throne, man. Yahweh Shai, which the world eagerly calls Jesus, man. That's right. Which when he comes back, you're going to see that he's a so-called Negro. You're going to see that he's not some blonde-haired, blue-eyed white guy, man. That is a real huge stumbling block to our people, man. Go ahead, Ock, there's more on that. As, as, as he spake by the mouth of his, his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. Now, who were the holy prophets? Who were the holy prophets? They were Israelites, man. None of the prophets was no damn Moabites, no Ammonites, no Edomites, no Elamites. The men that wrote these words that was inspired by Yahweh by Shem Shai were Hebrew Israelites, man. Go ahead, I. That we should be saved from our enemies. Our enemies, man. See, this dude don't know that we actually got enemies. He actually believed that these people love us, man. He probably went and took all the, all the jump shots and everything. As soon as the so-called white man said, I, I wonder where his church is at. If he got a church and he made it through COVID-19, I'd be surprised. All these churches done shut down, man. Jake not trying to go and listen to no sermons about the so-called white man. Damn, little mama. Because Esau done beat white Jesus into the people and see them all the sneakering. But what she don't know is, hey, all that stuff, all that laughing, all that playing and shit, man, the Lord is about to cut into all that, bro. All that. Hey, hey, we're glad. Hey, and we're we're glad to be a spectacle for you. How about Shimei was shot? We're, we're, hey, it's a blessing to be out here and look like a fool for the for for you. How about Shimei was shot? Like no fool, so that's right. You see what I'm saying? It's a blessing, man. We're thankful for this, man. We th we're, we're thankful for every laugh, every snicker, every scoff. All the damn scorners, man. Go ahead, Ock. It's more on that. A little bit more. That we should be saved from our enemies. There you go again. That we, that we should be saved from our enemies, man. You think the so-called white man is your damn friend? You a damn fool, man. 
This man got you in the worst ghettos ever. And I always say, if I can spin this camera around, what you'll see is, it's trash, shit everywhere, broken glass, damn chip bottles, Capri Sun juice, <laughs> hey, it's just trashy, man. You see what I'm saying? We are living in the worst of ghettos. Hey, we are the representatives of Deuteronomy chapter 28, so to speak, man. We are under those curses. No other nation is under those cur curses, man. Go ahead, I. As from, from the hand of all that hate us. All these nations hate us, man. And we can get that in Psalms 83. It names off all the nations. And the very first nation it names off is Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. And then I think Ishmael, the Ishmaelites from there. These goddamn Arabs that's in the neighborhood selling Jake, goddamn black and miles and shit, man. Some old stale ass blunts, man. Giving Jake the worst, the, the, the worst of mechanic work when you go to a damn mechanic shop. You gotta take a damn, you gotta really take a chance and trust this man when you take your shit to him, man. And hope that he don't tear up nothing else and have your ass back next week. Those are the enemies, man, of Yahweh by Shimmy. I was shot. Go ahead, I was the more on that. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yep, yep, go ahead, I. Right. To perform the mercy promised to our fathers. Our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. Those are the fathers that's being spoken of right here. Go ahead, I. Right. And to remember his holy covenant. Who, that's what I was asking him. He never would answer me. Who is the covenant given to? Who is the covenant given to, man? The Israelites, he wasn't answering none of that. I'm asking him, okay, who was the promises given to? I'm asking him, why would the Lord send Moses and Aaron into Egypt and not save the Egyptians too if he loved everybody? Simple question. Simple question. Now he wants to ramble, he wants us to ramble off the top of our head along with him, man. We're not doing that. We going into the scriptures, man. You see them scriptures had his ass beat the block. He beat, he was beating his feet up the block because he couldn't get his personal information in. We don't want to hear your personal, your personal information. I went to cemetery school. Get the, that's the last thing. Last nigga I want to talk to is a nigga that went to a cemetery school. These days, no man, because you're not going to get nowhere with him. You see, he was really trying to, now all of a sudden he's trying to take over the lesson. He's trying to take over the spotlight. I gave him the opportunity of trying to be nice you know, because we do take questions. We try, you know, answer the questions by the Holy Spirit to the best of our ability. We do that. Because people do have questions. We'll let them get a point in, say what you got to say, to see where they at. Once we, once we see where you at, you got to shut them down, man. We're, we're, we're going to contend for this faith, man, all the way to the end, man. Your heart rocked this out. Go ahead, I. The oath which he, he swore to our father Abraham. See that? The oath that he spoke to our father Abraham. Now Abraham had some other children, but when you go precept upon precept, the promises was given to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. And those 12 sons that came from Jacob, those are the 12 tribes of Israel. And that's who the promise continued with, leading all the way on down to our Lord Yahweh side, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus, man. That's right. What else we got on that? Is some more on that? Oh yeah, go ahead, huh? That's why I like this chapter. That he would grant unto us that we be delivered out of the hand of our enemies. There you go, three times. Enemies. Why is the Lord talking about enemies right here? Because the these heathen nations have our people in captivity to this very day, man. We're scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Everywhere that the Israelites are, man, they're doing bad under the rule and subjection of these damn heathens, man. They don't care nothing about you. That's why the scripture says, never trust thine enemy. Though they go crouching and humbling themselves, and that's exactly what the so-called white man do. That's what Joe Biden and Kamala done to get you niggas to go out and vote for them. They humbled themselves. Oh, well, we love you niggers. Gave you a whole bunch of song and dance. Soon as this guy get in the office, gas go up 75 cent. Now your ass can barely afford some damn groceries. Now your little wick and your food steps, 
They're not even stretching as long as they used to no more. And they not giving you no more. All that old filling up the basket with a bunch of goddamn drinks, sugary shit, cupcakes and hostess. Now you gotta cut back on that to actually make those benefits stretch for you and your children. You see, this is what this man done. Go ahead, Op. That he will grant unto us that we be delivered out of the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear. See, because we can't serve our power without fear in this place, man. We were just talking about it when we first started the video, that it's only certain things that you can say, man. We can't even say what we really want to say because this so-called white man, this motherfucker want to arrest you now. This guy's coming up with laws to actually arrest you, man. Yahweh Shai even spoke of that. Yahweh Shai spoke of that, man. He said, hey, eventually they're going to come for us, man. How the hell you got a, a, a people that want to come and lock you up about reading the Bible when they're a Christian nation? They don't want to hear the real part of the Bible. That's the part that's cutting them. The realness of the scriptures, man. See what I'm saying? Go ahead, Ox. In holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our lives. And that's what we're, we're fighting for right now. We're fighting for a crown. We're fighting to make those chariots, man. We're fighting for position in the kingdom so we can praise our Lord, man, without being damn stomped on, man. You see? You cannot worship the Lord thy God in this wicked ass place, man. We, we must be saved out of this place and have those new bodies to actually even do it. That goes into the new covenant, which I never could get to ask this brother. Uh, well, I ain't gonna even say damn brother. He was a complete niggard, man. Came up here, baby face. Whole head and no, no, hey, no beard, no nothing. Want to try and teach the scriptures, talking about I went to cemetery school. But he can't tell you who the, who the promises was given to. Hey, when you ask somebody something that simple and they tap dancing around it, they can't answer a simple question. Because that's a simple question. Who is the promises given to? You, if you went to cemetery school, you should be able to answer that right off, no problems. Here he go, he want to come up here. Oh, well, let's talk, let's, no, 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 no. We ain't into that, man. Is it more on that? I... That was about it. Oh yeah, yeah. We can, we can go ahead. Go ahead. We can go ahead because, like I said, that's the reason why I love chap Luke chapter one, man. Read through Luke chapter one. It's eighty verses, and it'll give you a whole rundown of when Gabriel came and talked to Elizabeth. I mean, um, Zacharias about John the Baptist being born, and then he went to Mary and talked to her about Yahweh Shai being born. And then it goes off into why they're being born. John the Baptist is Elijah back. He's coming back to, to, to basically pave the way for Yahweh Shai to come through. This chapter, read this chapter, man. And you'll get, you should, by the Holy Spirit, you should get an understanding of, of what's really going on, man. The Lord is not dealing with no heathen nations, man. You're not going to find one scripture where the Lord was telling Pontius Pilate or Her Herod. The Lord was a rock star at, um, at, at, at that time, man. Herod wanted to actually meet the Lord because he was hearing about the miracles. He wanted the Lord to do some miracles for him. Man, the Lord wasn't even talking to that clown, man. He ain't even answering. See what I'm saying? He didn't tell Herod, oh, well, you know what? I could do it. He could have done a miracle and made Herod a damn believer immediately. He wasn't trying to save no damn Herod, man. That says a lot in itself. Why didn't the Lord teach the gospel to Pontius Pilate or Herod, man? Why didn't he tell them, hey, you need to repent? I know you're about to kill me. That's a part of the prophecy. That's my father's will, but you need to repent. Never spoke to not one of them on nothing like that, man. Go ahead, I. 76, and thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest. See that? The prophet of the highest. Who was, who was John the Baptist, man? He was a Hebrew Israelite. His father, it says his father, Elizabeth, I mean, his father, Zacharias, and his mother, Elizabeth, were devout Christians, man. I mean, or not the devout Christians, but they, they, they was into the Lord, man. They was perfect before the Lord. 
see what I'm saying? Zacharias was still in the temple doing his Levite part. He was doing the services of Yahweh Bajim outside when the angel came to him, man. He was a Hebrew Israelite. That says a lot, man. Go ahead, I. He was the prophet of the highest. Well, thou shalt go before the, the face of, of the Lord to prepare his way. See that? And that's what he did. John the Baptist, he went forth and, 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 and preached the gospel, man, that the Lord was on the way. And once the Lord hit the scene, he kind of backed off. He was like, hey, I must decrease so he'll increase. He played his part. And then you got this, um, what's this, 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 this camp was uh, 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 talking about John the Baptist fell out of the truth. I'm like, man, you following a nigga that say something like that. <laughs> you, 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 you need to be destroyed, man. That, um, I think I, I asked you PK. Talking about John the Baptist fell out of the truth. Thomas, where is that in the scripture? What makes you think that? But them guys are a bunch of damn reprobates too, man. Go ahead, I. 77, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people. His people. By but the, the Israelites are his people, man. Go ahead, I. By the remission of their sins. And what's, what, what's the sins? What is sin? Transgression of the law. So once you get into that, now you got to say, well, who is the law given to? You see? Matter of fact, go ahead, I. I'm going to get, um, Go ahead and read the rest of that out. Chapter 78. Though the tender mercy of, of our God, whereby the despite the strength the spying from on high have visited us. See? And that go, hey, the laws was given to the, 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 the Hebrew Israelites, man. Matter of fact, I'm gonna get this Psalms 147 and verse 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation, and as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. So see, that's where the brother he went off into. Uh, what, was, what verse was that? Uh, with the um, remission of, uh, of sins? What was that, 78, 79? What was that? Uh, oh, yeah, verse 77. To give knowledge and salvation unto his people by the remission of their sins. So when you go up into sin, sin is, was transgression of the law. The law was only given to the Hebrew Israelites, man. That's where that first covenant was broken. That's why we needed a new covenant, man. And those laws, statutes, and commandments are going to be written on our hearts and minds, man. We pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah that we're a part of that. That he'll have mercy on us, man, and not blow out our candlestick or remove his Holy Spirit from us. That's right. You see? We want to be a part of that. So we're going to be able to keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the teeth. And we're going to whip these damn heathen nations into shape, man. They're going to learn from us. They're going to keep our laws. This man here is writing damn laws that a man can be a fucking woman or, or they can get married and do all that and they can just lay together and just spread jungle pops. This is his laws, man. You don't think that we, they going to follow all laws, man. In righteousness, they going to follow, ain't going to be no more damn shrimp, crab, pork, or lobster, man. They ain't going to be able to just rake the sea of every damn thing in it. They're not going to be able to do that, man. Ain't gonna be no damn late night with women out at five, two, three, four in the morning and all this other shit having drinks. Getting high. Being able to lay up with whatever nigga they wanna lay up with for the night. No, ain't gonna be none of that, man. All this wickedness is gonna stop. Matter of fact, they're gonna be so goddamn tired from working, they ain't gonna wanna do nothing but get that little wink of sleep that they can get before we whip their asses back up to pick whatever fruit or whatever the hell we got going for them that day. That's right. They gonna do, hey, they gonna get double time of what we went through. Matter of fact, I get Revelation 13 and start at verse 9. Why this guy talking about everybody can be saved. That's the problem with our people, man. Here you go. You done been 
dog out for half a, half a damn millennium. You try and tell Jake that they're the most you try to tell Jake that they're the chosen people and that the Lord loved them unconditionally and that he placed them above all nations. Jake don't want to hear it. If the so-called white man can't come along, they don't want no parts of it. Go ahead, Ivy. Revelation 13, verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. That means that hey, if you got understanding, hey, check it out, basically. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. See that? Had he stuck around a little bit longer, we'd have brought that out for him. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Go ahead, Ock. He that killeth with a sword must be killed with a sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. And that's what we're patiently and faithfully waiting on. This man, did, didn't this man lead us into captivity? You see, this man led us into captivity. The scripture says he must go into captivity. And that's going off into a nation, man. See, the Lord deals with, he deals with individual men and he deals with nations of people. You see, he deals with nations of people, but he's dealing with every single individual in the, on those nations. Matter of fact, I get uh, Job 34 and 29. Thirty-four and twenty-nine, I think it is. So thirty-four and twenty-nine. Yep, that's it. When he give questions, quietness. When he give quietness, who then can make trouble? And and when he had a, his faith, when he, had a, his faith, who who then can behold him? Whether it it be done. Against a nation or against a man only. See that? So whether it's done against a nation or a man only, the Lord brings up nations and he brings down nations. And that's the same way he dealt with us. He brought us down as an entire nation and sent us all into slavery. You see? So he's going to do the exact same thing to these goddamn Edomites. The enemies of the Lord, these heathens. He's going to do the exact same thing to them as a nation, man. You see what I'm saying? So you need to get out of your mind that the Lord is some blonde-haired, blue-eyed, white guy, man. And that he loves everybody. That Christianity, hey, that, that's finished, man. If you still believe the Lord is some white guy in 2022, going into 2023, then you're obviously not using your smartphone for smart things, man. That's a quick, simple Google. And you know what? A lot of people know it. It's more and more people that'll tell you now, but, but you know what they'll say? Oh, well, this color doesn't matter. But it mattered the whole while they gave you white Jesus. Yes, now, when you, now when the scriptures come out and we bust all that shit down, now that it's, he's a so-called Negro, it doesn't matter all of a sudden. But don't the Lord come in the volume of the book? Everything that's in these scriptures matter. His color matters if it mentioned it. Nowhere in the scriptures are you going to find that the so-called, the, 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 uh, the Lord looks like no so-called white man, man. And he's going to have to pay for that crap. Goddamn identity theft. The identity theft kings, man. They stole our identity. And then want to try and make the Lord look like them. You see what I'm saying? And we can't wait for pay time, man. We can't wait for our lick back. That's what the brother just read. We're patiently and faithfully waiting on our lick back for Esau, man. We can't wait. That's right. I was looking at the, the brothers downtown, you know, just before I came from GMS on um, Detroit. And they was going into that, man. Talking about, hey, we can't wait. You can call us bigots. You can call us racist. You can call us whatever we want. Whatever you want. But these people have been doing this shit for 500 years. Now all of a sudden the Lord wake us up, bring us into the knowledge that it's true, and show us who we really are, that we're not a damn color out of a crayon box, that we're not two damn continents named after two so-called white men. Damn African and American. How you two continents? You the whole continent of Africa? God damn, bro. 
It's 54 countries in the continent of Africa. But Jay, all 54 countries and a whole other continent. Named after a so-called white man. And look at how many times your name has been changed. As a matter of fact, I, get um, Isaiah 1 and 3. We're about to close out. We're not going to keep it long, long. But hey, that, hey, that, hey, he came up and that sparked a, a whole nother, that spark, hey, the spirit went a whole nother way because we was going to do something else. But hey, we roll in the spirit. That's the way that we prefer to do it anyway. You got that out? Uh, you can go ahead and start when, when, when you're ready. Isaiah 1 verse 3. The ox know, the, the ox know his own. And as his fast freer, but Israel do not know my people do not sin. See that? The ox knows its owner, and the ox and the ass, those are those are stubborn animals, man. But they at least know their master's creed, man. But Israel, the children of Israel, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, they don't know. They don't know. And the worst part about it is they don't care. They don't even consider. They don't care. They, they, they prefer, Jake will argue you up and down on proud and on black. You can point at the nigga's skin color all day long and say, but look, you're not black. You're brown. And show them the actual color black. Oh, well, you know what I mean. No, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> argue with you, man, about you being black, man. That's the eight. These people gave us, what was they calling us before? Um, uh, what, Negroes, niggas, niggas, uh, color, black, a uh, oh, damn hairdo, Afro, Afro-American. Yeah, nigg hey, niggas running around with a big ass pick in their in they, in they, in they Afro, man, being called after their hairdo, Afro-American. And then Jesse Jackson came with that African-American shit in 1989. Google it. Look it up. I think it was 1989. But Jesse Jackson, he cried like a little bitch for us to be called two continents named after two so-called white men. He, he, he called for that. I just seen him the other day. He uh, uh, out here calling for some, some more stuff. Man, hey, look. These pastors are nothing but greedy dogs, man. Your Reverend Al Sharpton, man. Your, your, your Reverend Jesse Jack. Man, look, all those people have done is played the part of keeping you blind to the fact of who you really are, man. That's right. That's it. And they've been staples in our neighborhoods forever, man. That's why the scripture goes off into it, talks about the leaders of our people uh, make uh, the leaders of they, they make us to air, roughly paraphrasing, something like that. These leaders. Cause our people to err, man. To go off. I was just looking at the lesson yesterday when um, I think, hey, the, yeah, the brother from South Carolina you was talking about. And he, he was doing a video on Geno Jennings. No I, no, I think it was the brothers from Texas. But this guy, he actually really said that the, that the Old Testament, that, the, that you can actually eat pork. He was going off into the vision of Peter, man. When, 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 um, you know, when, when Peter had the vision that the Lord said, rise, Peter, and eat, kill and eat. And he said, no, Lord, I've never eaten anything common or unclean. And then it goes off into talking about those Gentile Israelites, you know, talking about those men. This guy used that scripture to say that you can eat whatever you want to eat now. Going all the way off, bro. And he got a congregation, a huge congregation, man. The most I say we can't touch it. Why would you think we could ever eat it? Just using the scriptures, though, all out of context, though. And he was using um, the scripture with the shambles. We were talking about, you know, because they, they kind of um, had that little, they was just kind of asking questions. That's when the Greek, you know, speaking Israelites, you know, came into play. And they was asking certain questions. You know what I'm saying? Like, because those... Those nations, they would pray to their gods over the meats and stuff. But Paul was like, hey, look, we serve you. How about she was shot? Just go get the meat. 
You know what I'm saying? Now, if it's going to be stumbling block to a weaker person, then that's something different. You know, roughly paraphrasing. But basically, Paul was saying, hey, look, the shambles is basically a meat market. He was like, just go buy the meat, but lawful meat. He wasn't talking about go in there and get you a goddamn pig or no damn hog, man. You see what I'm saying? But that's what this pastor was trying to use that you can all of a sudden now, the Old Testament is done away with, the law, statutes, and commandments don't matter no more. So basically what you're saying is you can go out and rob, you can go out and kill, you can go out and steal, you can go sleep with another man's wife. What about those laws? But you know what laws he didn't mention? The law of tithing, he want, those, he want them dollars from your ass. He ain't tell you that was over with. You see what I'm saying? So hey, look. The scriptures talk about, hey, come out of these haunted houses. These Christian churches teaching white Jesus, they're teaching you a lie. They're teaching you idolatry, man. That's the worst. That's, that's what pretty much got us in the situation we in. That was the, that was the straw that broke the camel's back, man, that goddamn idolatry. Jake with that idol worship, man. Here you go, Jake out here worshiping the same man that beat the hell out of him in slavery. Ain't no full well the scripture says that the Lord is a dark, melanated man with woolly hair, man, in a deep voice. And that he was an austere man. And all of a sudden, all you see is some, the bearded lady, I call her. You know, all these pictures of white Jesus looking like a damn woman. The Lord wasn't no soft-ass man, man. Effeminate. The scriptures talks about no effeminate will even make the kingdom of your about shim you side, man. You see? But we're going to go ahead and wrap it up and end out hey, our, our regular normal scripture after we end our way. Yeah, we, won't, we, we was willing to dialogue with, with the brother, man, but he, he wanted to just interrupt the lesson by speaking his own mind, man. We're going to speak some, a portion of our mind, but that's to explain the scriptures. That's right. You got to let the scriptures come out, man. The, the, the matter of fact, the scripture, it, it talks about if any man speak, let it be of the oracles of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Like, we'll bring out the scriptures, then the Holy Spirit through us will help us to explain it. We're not supposed to be, we give examples, you know, because, you know, that that's a part of teaching. You see what I'm saying? But when it straight comes down to it, the bottom line of this should be the scriptures coming out every single time. And see, what he wouldn't allow that to happen, we already knew it was a done deal. Go ahead, Op. Romans 13, verse 11. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake and out of sleep. For now is our time, our salvation nearer than when we believe. See, now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Now, this was spoken of 2,000 years ago. You better believe, hey, we down to the milliseconds right about now. Hell, even Esau, even the so-called white man got a doomsday clock. Hell, they doomsday clock is on the countdown. Damn near at the end. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead, I. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us, therefore, cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. And how do you do that? How do you how do you you break off those works of darkness, man? You got you had to repent. Then you come into these scriptures, you see what the Lord say to do and what not to do. You see what I'm saying? Here you go, you got a preacher that's telling you that the Old Testament, you don't have to keep the Lord, you don't have to do what the Lord say no more. That that's insane. And that's why our people are so prone to Christianity because you get the best of both worlds with it. You get to, I'm saved, but I still get to be a damn demon. It's easy to, it's easy to our people. That's why, see, Jake don't like discipline. Jake hates order, man. Jake feel like, Jake feel like doing what the Lord says is a punishment to him, but actually it's life to keep your ass alive. But anyway, and you, you cast off those works of darkness. You repent to the Father, Yahweh. That's the true name of the Father, Yahweh, which means that he exists or he is to be in Paleo-Hebrew. And the true name of his son is Yahweh Shai. 
which means that he's the savior or deliverer in Paleo Hebrew. Right. So you repent to the father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, and you work on getting yourself together, man. That's the reason why we do these, these lessons. You're gonna eventually, you go, you know, you have to work at it, man. This is work. Faith without works is dead. This is work at this, man. You're not just gonna come into it and be this super duper Israelite all of a sudden. You know what I'm saying? Because we're still in this flesh. We're working on getting a new body. That's what we're working towards. What that and the crown, man. That's right. You know, praying that we're accounted worthy enough to be to um. We're counted worthy enough to make it through all the things that are to come to pass, man. All these things that are about to happen, because it's about to get crazy as hell here. And accounted worthy enough to stand before the Son of Man. That's Luke 21 and 36. That's the main, main goal. To make it through all these things, man. That are to come to pass and accounted worthy enough to stand before the Son of Man, man. That's what we're looking forward to. So, hey, repent, man. We're living in the very last of days, man. It is high time to awake out of sleep. There's no other way to put it. It's like saying the bus is coming. You're looking at the bus, it's up the block. You're like, okay, the bus is coming. Then you go back in the house. Oh, I forgot something. <laughs> no, nah, man. We're trying to be on point and make this very first one, man. That's right. You see? So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Call me a shahala. Call hello, how are you? Bahashim, Yahweh Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well. That by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all you Akiyam, Akwap, that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Jachanan Awap, and we got the brother Harad again. And with that, Kwam Yashallah. And we are out.